let's try and understand Christianity in the right perspective by understanding the concept of God in Christianity. Before we discuss about the concept of God in Christianity, I would like to make a few points clear. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. He said that he was Almighty God. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. I'll let repeat, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. It's clearly mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Until the heavens and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall pass away. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments, and teach men to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep them and teach the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. This is a verbatim quotation from the Bible, from King James Version, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that if you want to enter paradise, you have to be better than the Jews. You have to follow each and every commandment. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. That means you have to follow all the laws and commandments that were sent by earlier prophets, including Moses, peace be upon him, that God is one who has got no images, etc. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He never claimed divinity. In fact, he said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, The words that you hear are not mine, but my Father's who has sent me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, This is life eternal, so that you may know there is one God. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 and 17. There's a person who approaches Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and tells him that, good master, what good things should I do so that I shall enter eternal life? Asking, what good things should I do so that I shall go to paradise? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies, why thou callest me good? Leave aside God, G-O-D, why thou callest me good? And there's only one good, that is Father in heaven, that is Almighty God. And if you want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that if you want to enter Jannah, if you want to go to paradise, you believe that I'm God. 
He didn't say that you believe that I died for your sins on the cross. He said, if you want to enter Jannah, if you want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. And it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. E men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. And when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked, that which is the first of the commandments? He repeated verbatim what was said by Moses, peace be upon him, earlier. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Shama Israelo, Adnan Hainu Abnai Khad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Hear O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. So if you understand the concept of God in Christianity, that God is one, He has got no idols, He has got no images, you will understand Christianity in the right perspective.